Hey, welcome back. I'm Jaren, and in this video, we're going to combine two of Cubase 14's new features, the new shimmer reverb effect and the play probability feature of the piano roll editor. We're gonna put them together to create an arpeggiated, washy background layer for the groove that we've been creating. Let's jump into it. We'll be using Retrolog as our synthesizer to achieve a very muted, simple sine wave sound. Then we're going to draw in our chords as a series of arpeggiated 16th notes. Let's start with our C minor 11 chord. C, G, D, E flat, F, G, B flat, and maybe top it off with one more D. Let's see how that sounds. Nice, that works. And in bar three, we need to change to our G minor nine chord. So we'll go up to G, we'll do B flat, C, D, F. We'll do another G, A, maybe a B flat, C, and D. Let's try it. Here we go. Cool. Now, that's not very interesting on its own, but let's add shimmer. And there it is. Let's see how it sounds right out of the box. Here we go. Nice. Very cool. I don't even want to mess with it. It sounds great. Let's just increase the reverb amount. I just want more of it. We'll roll off the highs a little bit. We have this convenient filter bank right up top. It's at 10,000 hertz right now. Let's roll it down to maybe eight, maybe 6,000 hertz just to warm it up a little bit. Amazing. Let's hear it with more of the groove. Let's add the drums. Now let's add our other synth layer. That works for me. And how about our piano? Very cool. So how about the play probability feature I mentioned? We can use that to make this a little less static. Let's highlight all the notes in our pad layer that's running through the shimmer effect. We'll select all the notes. And up here, you'll see play probability. It's currently set to 100%, meaning that every time the MIDI note is triggered, there's a 100% chance that it's going to sound or it's going to play. You can also access this down here where you usually will see velocity. If you click that, you can see that we can access the play probability in this kind of a format. I'm gonna manipulate it up here and I'm gonna set all of the notes to 50% play probability so that every note has a 50% chance of occurring. I'm hoping that this creates a cascading arpeggiated kind of sound that evolves and has a bit more of a scattered effect as it shimmers through the reverb. Let's see. Thank 
Yeah, and it's different every time. Cool. Play probability is a powerful tool. Use it in your tunes. Let's hear how it sounds with the whole mix. That's nice. All right, we need just one more layer, one more element, a cherry on top of this groove. It's time to bust out the guitar and see what Cubase 14's new auto filter effect is all about. I'll see you there. Thank you. 